Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's episode is going to be centered around By Terry, one of my favorite makeup brands. Um, I picked up three things from Beautylish from the Spring Summer 17 collection and I was sent one item from Octoly and By Terry to review. Um, so I'm going to be talking about all of these things and I have them all on my face. So if you're interested in finding out what I got, my thoughts on them, what I did, then just keep on watching. <laughs> Hi, okay, so I picked up three things from Beautylish, and the first one is the Sun Designer Palette um, that everyone is sort of talking about. This is, that's a face palette that was um, introduced uh, last year, and it came in two colors, and they re-released, or they basically introduced two new colors for this season, and I got it in Tropical Sunset, which has sort of the brighter blush shades. So I got this, um, and it comes in like a velvet pouch and a really pretty box. I also picked up the um, Eye Designer Palette in Techno Aura, and this is the Six Shadow Palette, very neutral shades. So I picked this up as well. Um, I also purchased the Tea to Tan Face and Body all over sort of bronzer, water mist. And um, this is basically uh, a re-promotion of this. It's in a smaller uh, travel friendly size. They say it's one fluid ounce and they added some artwork to the bottle and it's very, very pretty. So I also purchased this and um, Octoly and By Terry were actually kind enough to send me the Glow Expert Duo Stick in Peachy Petal. And this is that cream stick that has the highlighter and blush in one. So we're going to be talking about these four things. So I figured I'd talk about them in the order that I put them on my face. I figured that would make the most sense. We'll see. Um, okay, so, you know, I primed my face. I put on foundation. I used my By Terry Concealer, which I love. The Terribly Denseless Concealer. Uh, I've had this for a long time. And then I put the tea to tan all over water mist on. So when I first got this, I was very intrigued by all the claims that it made. Basically, you could have a matte finish, you could have a luminous finish, um, it doesn't transfer, it doesn't smudge, um, there are no self tanning agents in there, so it's literally it'll just wash away at the end of the day. So when I got this and I opened up the box, um, my first question was, well, how can I get matte or this luminous finish? I didn't understand how from one product I could get two different finishes. So when I read more closely, basically, if you don't shake the bottle, uh, which basically means if you kind of leave the tea water, if you will, um, separated from the kind of heavier, shimmery um, solution in here, um, and you spray it, you'll literally just get the tea water. And that gives you sort of just a matte bronze effect. Now, if you shake the bottle and you combine the two, uh, what you'll end up, once you spray it, is you'll end up with like a luminous finish. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I am someone I think that's always going to opt for the luminous finish anyway. So I shook the bottle right up. Um, I uncapped it. It has a nice little spray bottle and I sprayed it directly onto my face. I gave it like two or three good spritzes. And what I noticed was, because it's a bronzer, um, it's pretty messy. So I had, you know, brown um, spray splotches like on my uh, t-shirt underneath. It kind of got into my hair and I ended up with some on my ears, which was okay. Um, but I was like, oh no, it like got everywhere. So, you know, I kind of just rubbed it in with my hands and it ended up being fine. Um, it was an old t-shirt, so I just sort of put that in the hamper. Um, I haven't washed it yet, so I don't know if it comes out. That's a warning to you. Um, I would not go right in and just spray it on your face. Um, so the next thing I tried was I took a brush and I just sprayed it directly onto the brush. And that was fine, um, except when I sprayed it on the brush, the spray again gets everywhere. So I had it all over my hands. Um, and thankfully I was wearing short sleeves, so it didn't get on the, my, you know, the cuff of my shirt or anything like that. And I was in my room, and so I just did it over my table, and it got all over my table, which wiped away and it was fine. But that's definitely something to keep in mind as well. Um, but once I got it onto the brush, I sweeped it over my foundation, 
and it was great. Um, and then the next day I tried it differently. I tried it on a makeup sponge. I took the, the spray and I just held it right up against the sponge because I was like, let's see if we can get this without any sort of spray everywhere. Um, and I just, you know, kind of sprayed it right into the sponge. Um, and that worked. There was no sort of residual spray anywhere. It wasn't messy. Um, but you have to use quite a bit more. So I ended up having to spray in here maybe like six or seven times versus the two or three times I needed for the um, brush. Um, but, you know, once I got onto the sponge, I pretty much just pressed it into my skin and it took a little bit more than the brush to get like an even application because I was applying it over my liquid foundation and I didn't want it to, you know, move the foundation underneath. So I was literally just sort of pressing it and that takes quite a bit of work to get it, you know, kind of even all over the face. So I sprayed it twice, started to do that. I sprayed it twice again, kind of got more of my face, sprayed it twice again, and used some more to kind of even out anything that I found was kind of splotchy or uneven. So anyway, um, so I would recommend either the brush or the sponge. The sponge I like if you are really concerned with like spray, if you're like, I don't know, in an all white environment, um, if, or if you're not in a bathroom or something where you can easily wipe down the sink or the countertop, I would recommend the sponge. Um, if you are someplace where you can easily wipe down any of the surfaces, you're not wearing anything white or uh, too valuable, um, then I would recommend the brush because the application of the brush was really, really uh, seamless and it gave me, I think, the easiest and fastest sort of even coverage. As for the actual product, I really love it. It's a little bit fragrant. Um, so I definitely had to get used to the scent of it. Um, I, I don't know why. I assumed it would smell sort of like coconut, if it was going to smell like anything, that it would smell kind of coconutty, but it actually smells very perfumed, which I am not a fan of. So be mindful of that if you are very sensitive to scents. This may not be for you. Um, I'm fairly sensitive and I got used to it probably on second application, like I don't smell it anymore. Um, it doesn't bother me anymore. So anyway, keep that in mind. Um, but I love the effect that it gives my skin. It's a very sheer, um, natural, um, not too luminous, not too matte. So when I shake it up, they say that that's like the luminous finish, which it is. It's more luminous than the matte um, if you don't shake it up, but it's by far not um, shiny or glimmery or glistening or anything like that. It just sort of gives you this really lovely natural finish to the skin. So my look today is um, shaken up and with the sponge. Yeah, and it just gives you like, you know, just kind of makes your your skin just like, a, you know, like a shade or two deeper than it normally is. And for someone as fair as I am, it's so welcome. So, you know, and I just brought it down my neck a little bit. You don't have to worry too, because it's so sheer and natural, you don't have to worry about too much, you know, about like covering your neck. I think if you just sort of make sure you kind of blend it down a little bit, it'll like fade nicely into the rest of your um, skin. So I really like this um, and I like the ingredients. There's like, I'm not a chemist, so I'm not exactly sure what this means, but there's like active tea waters in here, which apparently have a lot of antioxidants, which we know is good for the skin. So I am very much enjoying this and I do recommend this product. So after I applied the tea to tan bronzer, I went in with the Glow Expert Duo Stick. And this is the product that By Terry sent to me to review, so thank you very much. Um, they sent me the Peachy Petal colorway, which I actually picked. As you can see, I've used, I don't know if you can see actually, I've used quite a bit of the highlighter and I've used a bit of the blush. And I love, I think out of everything that I got, this is probably the most um, understated product, but I think this is probably the product I like the most. You know, you can use both at the same time. You know, you can hold the highlighter so it's on top and the blush on the bottom and sort of sweep them across your cheek at the same time, but um, I'm a little bit more, or I like to be a little bit more precise with my placement. So I use them one at a time and I take the highlighter side and I just simply swipe that over my cheekbone 
um, both sides. I'll run it down my nose, maybe a little bit between my eyebrows and a little bit on my chin, and I just sort of use my finger and I tap it in. The stick comes with a brush, like a flat top dense brush, so you can use this to kind of blend it out if you want, if you don't like using your fingers. I happen to like using my fingers. I like the warmth of my fingers and cream products to really kind of like melt it into my skin. So um, that's what I do. And then I take the blush after that and I just sort of um, dot that or swipe that in short strokes sort of along my um, cheekbone. And I do the same thing. I just use my fingertips and I kind of blend that in. And then I make sure the two are sort of blended together. I love the effect. It's just a really beautiful natural sort of finish. If you've ever used like the NARS multiple sticks, those are really, um, they end up being very powdery on the skin. This is not. This is a little bit more creamy, so I find it easier to blend. Um, but they're not as creamy as something like the Glossier Halo Scopes. Those are um, very, very creamy. Those are very emollient. They have that kind of um, moisturizing core. Um, so this kind of falls in between the Halo Scope and the Multiple Stick, and I love this. I'm thinking about getting the other color. So this comes in two other colors, one that's like more pink and then one that's more nude, and I believe these are $48 each, and it's so worth it. I think they're they're like per the perfect like spring-summer item. It's a perfect travel um, item, no liquid, really compact. Um, comes with a brush if you need it, so I I am super loving the duo stick. So those were all the cream products that I had on my face today. So I you know used a setting powder, and then I went in with the Sun Designer palette, uh, which comes in like a velvet pouch, lovely. And here's the beautiful artwork on the cover. Here is the inside of the palette. It is so beautiful. It really is. It's just an eye-catching palette. It's gorgeous. It's something that's really hard to resist. Um, and this is the color Tropical Sunset. So this is the one with like the brighter blushes. So when these came out last year, I was a little bit concerned at the pan size, how they were so narrow and how I'd be able to get my brush sort of, you know, just in one color. Um, but after getting this, I realized, you know, I kind of use, I use two colors at a time pretty much. The blushes, the blush side, I kind of use all of them. Um, so I swept, basically, I put my brush in the, in this like hot pink and then into the poppy color and then into this gold highlighty color. And I just swept that over my cheeks, over the, uh, the duo stick. Um, and then with a bronzer brush, um, I swept over the top two colors and I just sort of swept that all over my face uh, to kind of finish it off. And it gives like a really beautiful sheen. There's nothing too um, glistening about it. There's not, there's no glitter in here. Um, they're fairly, I mean, I wouldn't go so far as to call them matte, but they are um, just a very natural, you know, maybe like a satin finish, I would say. Um, but it just gives like the skin like a wonderful glow. Um, the blushes, while they look super bright in the pan, um, they are pigmented, but they're not quite as, I don't know, they're not quite as like obnoxious as they look in the pan. But I think the color that it gives you is just something that's really um, natural and flush and vibrant and really youthful. So I do really like this um, Sun Designer palette. And then last but not least, I picked up the Eye Designer palette in the colorway Techno Aura, and it is um, a six pan eyeshadow palette with very, very neutral shades. I believe it comes in maybe two or three other shades, but none of them I really liked. One was like kind of jewel tone, and I think one the other one was like blue, greens, and browns. I don't know, not, no colors that really struck my fancy. So with the neutrals, I thought, oh, this would be great. You know, I can kind of wear it anytime or as an everyday look. And the shades are very, very subtle. I have them on my eyes today. I'm basically using the darkest color, um, kind of on the outer corner of my eyes, and the lightest color kind of all over my lid, and I use the second color in here sort of as like a transition shade. Um, the other day I used sort of more of this like pinky, pinky color, um, and then this one that's a little bit more taupe, 
and it just ended up kind of like I don't know they all sort of blended together so I think a lot of these colors are a little bit too similar I mean they're different but like once you start blending them they look very very similar so while I like the quality of these shadows and I do like the dark color um, I don't know that I could actually recommend this palette because they're just too I don't know they're just too close I think I'm only going to be using like the two darkest colors and then this one color for like a highlight shade and that's it so that's it for my by Terry haul I really love the tea to tan um, the duo stick and the sun designer palette the only thing I didn't think was like super fantastic was the eye designer palette anyway so that is my roundup of the by Terry spring summer 17 things that I picked up and was sent and thank you again to by Terry for sending me the duo stick I love it again I think that is my favorite product out of all four of those things. So if you picked up any of these products from By Terry, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. If there are items in the collection that you think I need to have that I did not mention, please let me know as well. I'd love to hear your recommendations. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.